I'm impressed with the look of Quartzsite Mountain. And those that know this part of Washington, I think it's a landmark that most people know about, but it's brand new to me, I'll tell you that. Hello everybody, on the road with Sky Cooley today, we're doing our homework. Neither of us knows much about the Chihuahua area and Quartzsite Mountain, but you're gonna learn with us. We're gonna do a little bit in the car here, and then we're gonna get out looking at outcrop and look at this valley overlooking Chihuahua. Thanks for joining us, let's get started. Have you been in this valley before at all? Like I've never been to Addy, I've never been to Chihuahua. How about you? Yeah, I've, I've been through here, but you know, haven't really paid close attention to the rocks. Well, we're doing that today. And so viewers, let me get you started and then Sky can jump in with whatever he feels like he wants to add. Uh, here's what I know so far. This is the state of Washington, everybody. Ellensburg, Washington driving this morning, a beautiful Monday morning, and getting my way up to Chihuahua. So we're in the northeastern part of the state of Washington, which means we are out of the German chocolate cake, and we're into some exotic terrains and old North America rocks. That's the point of this episode, to look for the first time with a fresh set of eyes at these blue areas. We're ignoring the granites, we're ignoring the core complexes, we're ignoring all sorts of things. So, uh, Roadside Geology by Marley Miller and Daryl Cowan, very, very helpful to us. Uh, thank you, we're reading a little bit. Can I start with this? So, map by Chelsea coming at you right now. Um, if you're a longtime viewer, you remember that uh, in the Exotic Terrain series five years ago, I finally settled on the idea that Kettle Falls and this north-south flow of the Columbia River is a nice marker. It seems to be a nice marker for the boundary between old North America and the fruitcake, the exotic terrains. Now this coming winter with the Alaska A to Z series, we might change our mind about that. But for right now, we feel comfortable, at least I feel comfortable with that concept. And Chihuahua, where we are right now in 99 degree Fahrenheit weather, is right here at this little bump. So we're not up at Colville, we're on 395, but we're up at Quartzsite Mountain itself, showing this US 395 transect, Kettle Falls, Colville, Addy, Chihuahua, Clayton, and heading down to John Stockton's house in Spokane. Right in here, at Chihuahua, Quartzsite Mountain is just east of town. You can see Quartzsite Mountain from town. Here's a 1991 beautiful uh, northeast quadrant map from the Washington Geological Survey. And different color scheme, but a nice job here as well. Here's the Columbia River flowing south, and Kettle Falls is, must be in here, can't see mm -hmm. it, okay? And 390 Colville and Chihuahua. So there are some major, I guess, uh, there are some thrust vaults, four of them, in the Chihuahua Valley that repeat the section, as it's called. But we're looking at this purple, and the YS is nearby. And that's where Sky's going to help us a little bit. Um, what's the difference, Sky, between... I told you I wasn't going to put you on the spot. <laughs> now I am. All right. All right. How, how, is, how is the Addy Quartzite different than the Belt... Supergroup, as far as we know so far. Well, the belt, the Addy Quartzite overlies the rifted belt sediments, mm -hmm. so so we're at the edge of the of a rifted margin, and the other half of the belt or a big portion of the belt has is gone to a different continent. Mm. And so we're looking at the old edge of the continent, and then sediments that drape that edge, and the Addy is is part of that draping sequence, that cover yeah. sequence. So originally sediments, probably Cambrian and age, we're thinking, is that what we've, we've read so far? Yeah. And so um, a bunch of quartz sand, essentially, uh, close to the margin of old North America, I guess, mm -hmm. and it's not sandstone anymore. 
And there's other sediments in there too. Whenever you have sand, you know, be a beach sand, you're going to have, you know, slates and maybe some limestone dolomites. And those are here too. Yeah. So the general story is if you have Columbia River gravels, Columbia River beautifully rounded cobbles, one telltale sign that it's Columbia River long ago are these quartzites, these blonde quartzites. Well, here's a whole mountain made out of the blonde quartzite. And I don't know, I guess I was greedy. I wanted an absolutely perfect, beautiful white quartzite. And maybe some of it is if you get the right mountain, but Is this bedding? Is this like vertical bedding or is this more of a jointing thing? Like this looks pretty good in here. Good. Well, yeah, the quartzite isn't uh, the most attractive. Would you mind reading the uh, Addy quartzite and it wasn't there another unit as well that's the also what's interchangeable with Addy? Uh, let's see, it's the Gypsy. The right? Gypsy, good, okay. Yeah, so we're sort of spanning the uh, Proterozoic Paleozoic boundary. So mm -hmm. we're talking about Cambrian and late Proterozoic metasedimentary rocks. And the quartzite is described as medium to thick bedded, moderately to well sorted. Uh, fine grain to coarse grain, white, gray, purple, brown. So you got all sorts ah. of different uh, colors there. Medium bedded with argillite, with metasiltite, with some conglomerate, some metadolomite. So there's some other uh, messier um, non-sand components there. And mm. then generally interbedded, but the unit is dominated by either quartzite or metaargillite. I guess without knowing any different, I'd call it beach sand. And uh, there's a couple hammers in there if you want to grab a hammer. Um, while Sky's grabbing a hammer, let, can I peek through the trees and, and look down on Chihuahua? We had a nice cheeseburger down at the tavern down there. Late lunch. Chihuahua, hometown of Allen Stone and quartzite mountain which we're choosing in this extreme hot weather not to hike today but i don't know quartzite mountain might be a nick on the rocks episode it's handsome beautiful flat irons above the town of chihuahua so what did you say in the car About... a different continent yeah. what, what's the what's the general idea and who have you heard that from like this is the, these are old North America shoreline deposits, for lack of a better term, whether we're in the belt, which is a little bit older, or this stuff. And why are we talking about another continent? We're at the edge of North America. Are we really talking about another continent at the same time? Too much. <laughs> we'll finish this one by saying, I think it's, I may have this wrong, but I think Robert S. Hildebrand has the entire belt supergroup in Western Montana, Panhandle of Idaho, here into Northeastern Washington, where we are right now. The belt supergroup, the late Precambrian sediments, he's got all of them being exotic to North America and not the traditional view of sediment being coming off of old North America and then a rifted basin. I may be wrong about that, but I come, some of the maps that I remember seeing from Bob He's got a major structure to the east of the belt and saying that everything in the belt is part of Baja BC and part of accreted material from some other place. Stay tuned if the belt supergroup becomes one of the main characters this winter. I think it might. That's part of the reason I'm up here with Sky, just playing and learning some new things. Thanks everybody, appreciate you joining us today.
We'll see you next time.